were singing, you were just smiling. <laughs> Sabbath could come here too. And the reason is that this is not just for us. You may say to yourself today, oh, I don't need to go to a love and respect conference. We're getting along fine. And, you know, that'll be for somebody else. But the point of this is that if we come to this, and this is going to be on the website for the love and respect, which goes to the, about the whole nation, and those people will be registering to come to this facility to this address and when they get here they're going to be able to meet other Christians who just happen to be Seventh-day Adventists. Linda has a question. Is that the only advertisement? No, that's not the only advertisement we have. 
We are going to send posters and, um, and drop some of these invitations off to the area churches in our areas. But what I'm trying to say about the website is if somebody's in Daytona, somebody's in anywhere around the whole United States, they may choose to come here to New Smyrna for this conference. That's how important these conference laws are to some of the people that are, are excited about this biblical-based Ephesians uh, concept on how to love men and how to love women. And that means sons, daughters, uh, employers, people that are in your realm of influence, there's things here that you're going to find out that you may not have known before. So please put this date on there. Now, for those of you that choose to register here at church, all I need you to do for that is to mark a tithe envelope with your offering for this um, for this two-day event, $15 per person. Put it in your tithe envelope and mark it um, love and respect. And we will register you for that event. There's more. If you have some information or more questions, please feel free to ask me or Marty after the service. I'd like to introduce uh, Chaplain Scott. <coughs> that have been done, not necessarily just here, a lot of them are just all over the place in Volusia and Flagler counties. Uh, there's been a uh, beach cleanup, uh, so that was up in Ormond, I think, where they just decided, you know, let's go and let's clean the environment. We're doing uh, homeless feedings, uh, adopt-a-family programs, food drives, school supply drives. Actually, we're going to start up the school supply drive over in our hospitals. Uh, next month and it'll run through the summer so that we can give school and medical supplies to uh, to the school so that they can have what they need to, to take care of the kids so that the kids will have the supplies they need because you know we know that our school system really could use more budget than they have so we try to do what we can um, cards for soldiers also uh, some of our places are doing that sending off cards for them um, also, critical incident stress management training is, is happening to help our employees know how to better support those who are going through crises that come across um, our, our path. Um, there are community clergy gatherings around the, the county, Creation Health seminars. Do you all know Creation Health? You're, you're familiar with that here? I know you do uh, wonderful cooking seminars, and I just didn't know how many. Had, uh, had experienced creation health. Basically, it's an acronym of health principles um, based on that word creation. Then, uh, something that has been, uh, that happened in pretty much all of our hospitals, we all celebrated the National Day of Prayer. Um, and so that's, that's just an opportunity for people to gather at the different hospitals and celebrate the fact that we do have the freedom to pray and to pray for uh, our communities, our, our nation. And over here at our hospital, uh, something that, that I recently did is for our employees, we had a week of spiritual renewal. So we're trying to, to foster spirituality in our, uh, in, in our campuses. And the theme was Embracing Grace. That was from our corporate office. They spent a lot of time getting into the, to the theme of, of God's grace uh, that is available to us. And so we want to have that on the minds of our employees so that they'll be grace-filled individuals as they're connecting with our patients. Um, so those are some things that are happening in our region. Just to let you all know that uh, while, while you're on mission, all of our churches are on mission in, in your individual settings, we're on mission with you in, in our settings. 
trying in whatever capacity we can to touch the lives of the people in the community with you to, to just really uplift them and, and bless uh, the people around us. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share with you all today. And God bless you all.